now we are going to design the brake pad for this caliper okay so in order for us to design the brake pad of this caliper we have to sketch first here on this caliper on the right on the front plane okay so on the front plane we have to sketch so what we are going to sketch is the shape of the brake pad so this is the sketch okay so that we can do faster all right the i still get the diameter of our rotor disc which is 288 and then i also get the inside diameter of our rotor disc and then i convert entity on the circle okay we do normal too so if you notice this is two circle so that we can have the pin for the brake pad so similarly on that side so we draw a line connecting the uh, two holes together so this will be the shape of our plate on the brake pad so what we're gonna do here is we just select all the sketch and then we copy ctrl c and then we open new part okay okay and then we sketch on front plane sketch and then we control b or paste so the sketch that we did there we copied here on this uh, front plane now we can start extrude both so features extrude both we do first the plate of the brake pad so starting from this point the circle okay this area also this area this area this area this area as well as this area and this area so the thickness of the plate if i put only five okay right there and then check so this is the plate of our brake pad this still plate now we are going to do the brake pad so what we, we expand only this boss extrude one and then we show the sketch okay so this is the sketch and then we click on the sketch and then again extrude boss okay so from this time we are going to extrude boss the uh brake pad material all right so we are going to select this area and this area all right so now the thickness because the thickness of this one should be 15 millimeter so i already five then this should be 10 okay so 10 and there okay. so this is my brake pad so the thickness almost the same yeah wait and check but extra boost it should be five correct check and then the second extra boost should be 10 oh uh, because it's there so 10 10 so i make this one 15 okay yeah. so this is now the bearing the brake pad material now let's say you want to cut a bit on this uh brake pad material we just sketch over here sketch and then just offset entity we do it reverse and then we do it only one mm okay so similarly here and then one mm over here okay offset entity reverse one mm okay. so we are going to connect these two using this line okay okay we cut ready and then this line we are going to make it up all right 
and then we go out then we go down we go over here we go up over here and then we also do and make a straight line over here right so now we can now extrude cut features extrude cut so to cut this area all right instead of line we are going to up the surface and we select the surface okay okay our break pad is already then Now we can color the plate as well as the brake pad. So we right click on this extrude, then we use extrude boss, and then we use metal. Okay, appearance, we use metal. So let's say it's a chrome or titanium. All right, I use this material. Okay. So this is my backing plate. Let's say I want the color black. All right. So this is my plate check, and then this my uh extrude boss again. Then I want this material to be composite. Let's say. We go on organic. It's not on the organic. We go on steel titanium. Rubber is not there. Made fabric. Organic. Where is that carbon? Fiber, it's a plastic composite, and then I want this for the material, and I put the color. Say this color together. I also click the cut. Okay. Now it's so I put lighter. It's so dark, difficult to see. We change it to maybe this one. All right. Okay. So this is our break pad. It's already done. Now we can save it as break pad.